The diplomatic language rolls on as the world congratulates Trump, but a divisive election in the United States also forces big choices elsewhere, if some are less diplomatic about embracing them, especially with the future of NATO and EU-US relations in the balance. The result is other than what most people in Germany desired, but of course we have to accept this and we do accept it. And a choice to work with Trump is not without other risks. There is a sour mood in Congress, there is a protectionist mood in Congress and that's not good for a country that's supposed to uphold the liberal world order. Don't expect too much free trade coming from America. It could be the opposite, protectionism. Britain and the United States are and will remain strong and close partners on trade, security and defence. But others might see an opportunity to make a friend of a US leader for whom Brexit was an inspiration. As far as the UK is concerned, this could be a good deal. Because with Hillary Clinton in the White House, there would have been no chance of doing a really tasty either free market deal or a sensible deal with the United States on trade. Now there's half a chance. Deals, though, may be more difficult with a man he's publicly admired, but whom many see as his nemesis. In Moscow's hopes that Donald Trump is all about deals are going to be probably shattered by two facts. First of all, the, the Trump's idea of a deal is that he gets 100% and the other side gets zero. That's exactly Vladimir Putin's idea of a deal. Trump is the answer for a U.S. weary of globalization and political elitism, he claims. For the rest of the world, the questions are just beginning.